Hey everyone, I hope you are having a terrific day and uh, I am down here at uh, actually a place called just outside of Commerce by the river. You can see the backwaters behind me and this is a unique place. If you look over my shoulder, I've got some motorcycles going by so they're a little noisy but they'll be past me here in just a moment. But uh, if you look right directly behind me, I'm actually at a uh, place where there's a historical marker and the tablet that you see or the the uh, I can't my mind's not working the information desk that you see behind me has got the history of this place uh, back on November 22nd in 1803 Lewis and Clark came through here on their expedition as they were trying to find a water way through the west to the Pacific Ocean and they they located this place and it was known as the Tawapiti Bottoms and you can you know it, it's a low lane area and there were bayous through here and small prairies and there were there, there were hor or, uh, just bunches of rush which when I talk about rush like a sand rush or a uh, what might be known as a uh, it's it's kind of like, it's a plant that almost looks like bamboo and this stuff was tall as the biggest that they'd ever seen it was like eight feet tall and uh, nearly three and a half inches in diameter and it was so thick in here that they could barely walk through it that they could barely get their way through it but they came to this place and uh, there was a uh, village down in here about 15 families that lived down in this area and he talked to them Lewis and Clark talked to them and they but it was just such a marshy area and if you look over my shoulder here you see that truck out there that's stuck it's bogged down I don't know what he thought he was doing you know but he is stuck and I mean he did a good job at getting stuck so he's not going anywhere and uh, he you know, and I thought about how we can get stuck on our journey when we end up trying to travel in low-lying areas. That's why it's so important that we find higher ground. We need to locate that rock. Let me read for you from Psalms 40, verses 1 and 2. And it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit out of the miry clay and he set my feet upon a rock and established my steps well, isn't that what we want to be able to have him pull us up out of that pit that we find ourselves in that truck's not going to get out of there on its own it's going to have to have help somebody is going to have to come and hook up to this truck and pull it out and hopefully they'll be able to get it out without tearing it apart but he got himself in a place where he was in a low lane area. And you talk about miry clay. If I was to go taking, if I went walking out across there where that truck was, I'd be calling somebody to pull me out because you just get bogged down. And you can't, you can't find yourself in those places. You know, life is filled with different events that happen to us. And we find ourselves on different paths and different roads. But we have to be careful that we don't get bogged down, that we don't end up in a place where we're in a pit and, uh, and we get stuck in miry clay. This writer, the, the writer of Psalms is saying, he set my feet upon a rock. You know, Lewis and Clark got in their uh, boat and they headed on up river. And on up river, they found high land and it was known as the Commerce Hills. And when they got up there, they found rocks as big as houses. And when they got into that area, they decided, you know what, this is a good place to spend the night. And so they found a large flat rock and they were able to spend the night on a solid rock and not have to worry about getting drugged down by the clay and the swamp and the marsh that was around them. We understand that that rock for us is Christ, that he is that rock that G, or that the Lord spoke of when he told Moses, he said, you, you hit that rock once and water will come out of it. And the writer of Hebrews, is, I'm sorry, the writer of Psalms is saying that he set my feet 
on a solid rock. I'm glad to know today that we have a solid foundation that we can stand on. So much has changed since I've come into this world. I was born in 1961 and so much has changed from the time I was a child and what I remember about my adolescent years and, and growing up and and the culture and and you know and it used to be that family was such a treasured value and and that people held on to family and you know government even encouraged family outings and and it seems like now that everything around this culture tries to rip family apart they tried to blur what who we are and what we are from the you know from the identity of our sexual orientation to you know saying that now you can pick your own sex and that's so ridiculous to me that makes absolutely no sense to me at all that's like me saying okay well I, I choose to be 16 and they're gonna say well you can't be 16 well why can't I be 16 well because you were born in 1961 so you can't be 16 <laughs> ring the bell folks if you were born a man you are a man. If you were born a woman, you are a woman. That's not to say that we don't get confused at times and there aren't things that, you know, that cause confusion in our mind. It's like that truck that's stuck out in that pit. It bogged down. It got in some miry clay. And, you know, we can get that way in our thoughts, in our very life. And, you know, and so there's so many addictions that can try and take hold of us, that try and control us and try and suck us down and, and rob the very hope from our hearts. But I'm here to tell you today that we have a solid rock. And that solid rock is Jesus. And he loves you and he cares about you and he wants the very best for you. But you have to be willing to say, God, here I am and look for higher ground. Don't continue to walk where you've walked that in places that always kept you bogged down and struggling. You've got to make up your mind that I'm going to reach higher than I've ever gone before. I can't get myself out of this mess. But if I call on the name of Jesus, he's more than able, more than enough to pull me out and set my feet on that solid rock. Another psalmist said that he's caused my feet to be like hinds feet in high places. What's he saying? He's saying he brought me out of the bottoms and he let me climb the mountain. He let me see the hope and the dreams that have always been in my heart, but I felt were so far above my reach. But now he's taken me from that low place and he's planted my feet on a high place, a sure foundation where I can see him, where I can trust him and I can move forward instead of falling back. I want to pray for you today. I want you to know that he wants to restore your dreams that he wants to give you back your hope and, and pull you out of those places that try and suck you down, that try and just rob you of all your dreams and all your hopes and all your visions. Today's a good day because it's a day that he's made. So let's go to him today and ask him to set our feet on that solid rock. God, we come to you today and just ask in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would rescue us from the pit that we find ourselves in. Your word described it as a horrible pit. And God, those of us that have been there know that it is. Father, to live a life, God, without hope, without you, Lord, is devastating. But Lord, you came to rescue us. You came to set us free. You pulled us out of the miry clay that we were stuck in. And you set our feet upon a rock. And you established us. Thank you for doing that today. God, for all that are listening, for all that feel trapped, thank you for rescuing, for pulling us up, for taking us out and setting our feet on a sure foundation. So today we praise you and we glorify you and we choose to move forward and not backward. We recognize that you made us the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, and we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, love you guys, and I want you to understand that there is a foundation that you can stand on that is sure, that is steadfast, and it's unmovable, and that rock is Christ. 
I'll see you next time. Until then, you be blessed. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.